Rebecca Armstrong has wanted to have a hobbit house since she was just six years old. When I was a kid, we didn't have a TV. We grew up, there were five kids. We grew up on a farm and we didn't have a TV a lot of the time. So my mom, uh, who was an English teacher, would read to us. And Tolkien and C.S. Lewis, uh, who did the Chronicles of Narnia, were two of her favorite choices. So ever since I was six years old, I wanted my own hobbit house. I also wanted to be an elf, but that wasn't as achievable. <laughs> Six years ago, she bought a farm just outside of Fenland Falls and has spent the last three years fulfilling that childhood dream. The, the lower walls are feed bags, horse feed bags, as you can see, this is a horse farm. Um, so they're empty horse feed bags filled up with dirt from where we dug out the hill because it is built into the hill. Uh, so the lower walls are basically dirt bags. And then above the windows, because we need it to be lighter, are straw bales. So the walls are over a foot thick, which keeps it cool in the summer and warm in the winter. And you can stay here. So I'm registered on a website called Hip Camp, which um, advertises and organizes rentals of various different camping sites. And so if someone goes to Hip Camp, they book an open time in the Hobbit House, and when they arrive, I greet them and I show them where it is because it's hard to find, it's not obvious. It's hidden on the back side of the property. Totally off the grid, uh, any systems in there are solar. So we've got a little bit of electricity, a little bit of lighting, some plugins for cell phones and tablets and stuff. Not only is there a hobbit house at the farm, but she also has a barn store supplying costumes for a business at the farm next door. The weekend uh, my family moved in here six years ago, we discovered that there was another set of new neighbors. Um, I knew the property next door, the hundred acres next door had been for sale, uh, but we didn't really know who had bought it. And it turned out that it's an organization called Underworld LARP. LARP stands for live action role playing. And one week a month through the summer, uh, the entire group of them, which could be up to 150 people, show up and camp for the weekend and do a live action role playing game where they dress as elves and orcs and kings and knights and whatever it is they want their character to be. So I saw an opportunity and I opened up my tavern so I could feed them when they were in game and I started selling them costumes and um, prosthetics and weapons. For more information, go to hillsidestables.ca. To book a night in the Hobbit House, go to hipcamp.com.